He's about to kiss me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Stop. I don't have a boyfriend. I just have a pet who loves kissing. Come on, let me read. You can't run, jump, and play all day long. You probably disagree. If your pet won't sit still, use a life hack with a ring. And some pool noodles. And a piece of rope. Hot glue the rope to the pool noodle. Wrap it around like this. Twist the noodle to make a ring. Glue the ends together. Tie a rope around the connection. Now take a sock and some Velcro. Cut the Velcro into squares. Attach the pieces to both sides of the sock. Glue a long piece of Velcro to the rope. Next time your puppy wants to play, get out the ring. Attach the toy to your sock. Playing with your puppy is so much fun. And you can read in peace. Finally, I made it work. I used to love this sweater so much, but it's time to say goodbye. Hmm, or maybe I can give it a new life. Put the sweater on a flat surface. Sew it under the chest. Insert a small decorative pillow. Sew it from underneath and sew the sleeves at the bottom. Fill the sweater through the neck with stuffing. Sew it shut. Do the same thing with the sleeves. Make a sofa out of the sweater. Cut out your pet's name from shiny foam paper. Hot glue the letters on. Come on, pup! Test how comfortable it is! Fluffy loves his new royal bed. It's so soft and glamorous. Now he has a place to sleep. Sweet dreams, little one! Now take a couple of plastic bottles. Draw a circle with a marker on the bigger bottle. Cut it out. Draw a line around the neck. Cut it. Go over the cut with a lighter to keep the plastic from cutting you. The neck of the bottle should fit through this hole easily. Fill it with water and put the bottle in your backpack. This invention is perfect for going on long walks. Is your dog thirsty? Put the bottles together. Open the cap and pour water into the bowl. There you go! Drink up! Oh man, I need to brush my puppy! That's only half the problem. Cleaning the brush isn't that much fun either. For this life hack, take a brush and a piece of tool. Put it on the brush. And once you have brushed your dog, just remove the fabric and throw it away, along with the hair. Simple, but effective. I think my puppy loves this shirt a little too much. Hey, give it back! Oh no, too late! You loved it so much you tore it? Okay, I guess. Cut off the collar of the shirt. Take some thread and star-shaped buttons. Sew the stars to the collar. Put it on your dog. Did you get what you wanted? I bet you are happy now. Sweaters are always useful. We can find something to make out of the rattiest old top. Cut off a sleeve. 
Take a plastic bottle and some cubes. Put the cubes in the bottle and the bottle into the sleeve. Tie the edges off to make a candy shape. Give the crinkly toy to your puppy. Grrr! This toy is so much fun! I'll eat you! Walking the dog is fun for everyone. But there's one problem. All dogs have a superpower. They can make a clean floor dirty at lightning speed. What should we do? Try this. You'll need a plastic cup with a lid and a piece of microfiber. Take off the lid. Put the fabric in the cup. Turn the edges out. Cut some bones from foam paper. Glue them together and attach them to the cup. Pour water in the cup and place it by the door. When you are coming in, grab your dog and put the cup on one paw after another. Before he knows it, his paws will be perfectly clean. So I'm not in trouble? Wow, this jar must be magical! Now take a big flower pot. Fill it with expanded clay and decorate it with pebbles and artificial plants. And one more thing. Put a small plate in the pot and fill it with water. Now your dog has a cute new drinking bowl. Here's to you, kid. Just don't forget the flowers aren't real. Next, you'll need cardboard tubes from paper towels. Cut out a paw stencil. Use a foam brush to draw white prints on the tube. The drawing turns out very neat and tidy. Now take a sheet of plywood. Decorate it with white paw prints. When the paint dries, take some masking tape. Attach it to the edges. Paint the edges white and remove the tape. Hot glue the tubes. Cut out some cardboard circles and attach them to the tubes. Attach a bar with empty bottles. Glue it to the ring so it can move. Pour dog food into the bottles. Come on! Have your dinner! You are such a smart puppy! You'll figure it out! Smell it, flip it, and enjoy your meal! You can also use this cardboard bar to train your dog. Jump! For this next idea, take a big pillowcase. Put a piece of rubber foam inside. So it closed. Make a few stitches in the middle. Cut four ropes. Tie them to the corners and make a comfy hammock. Hang it up in the back seat of the car. A VIP bed for your little friend is ready. It's obvious who calls the shots around here. And you can watch his happy face while you drive around. Don't forget to buckle up, little guy! To make bath time fun. All you have to do is add some treats. Pour dog food into a bowl. Hang a stand on the edge of the bath right in front of your dog. Taking a bath is great, but lunch is more important. You can't bring your dog to the grocery store. These rules are so strict. He is better behaved than most people. But there's nothing I can do. I have to leave him at the entrance. But how can I tie the leash securely? Here's an idea. Use a carabiner. Make the leash into a loop and secure it with the carabiner. 
Now he won't run away. Mom! Are you done yet? Bring me something yummy! Now take some fabric and a tennis ball. Cut the fabric into strips like this. Tie it and make a braid. Secure the end. Make a couple of round holes in the ball using a utility knife. Put it on the braid. Ooh! A ball? A rope? What's better than this? Did you like our dog ideas? Which one will you use for your pet? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new useful pet ideas from Troom Troom Select.